Hey, what's up guys? Diamond Gamer Pro here today and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to install Wii games onto your Wii U's home menu as Virtual Console without the need for any discs whatsoever. So, let's jump right into it. Alright, so your first step is going to be to head to the link in the description below, which will bring you to this website right here on GBA Temp. And what this is here is a Wii Virtual Console in Virtual Console, my bad injector script and this application is going to allow us to install our wii games to our wii u on the home menu so once you're on the website just use either the mega link or the google drive link to download the program once you have downloaded it should just be an exe just like this one right here as well as that you're also going to need the rom file for your wii game i'm going to be using defend and De penguin a classic wii game and then you are going to need two .tga files. These are image files for your banner and icon, as you can see right here. Now, the program does come built in with some images, but a lot of the time you're going to have to make your own. If you guys want to learn how to make your own, leave a comment down below, and I will definitely make a video on that. So, once you're ready, open up the program and give it a few seconds just to boot up, and then we can continue with our process. First things first, you want to make sure it's set to Wii Retail Injection, then click on Game, and choose your .wbfs or ISO file. Then for the icon, um, you're going to want to select this one right here, and then for the banner, we are going to select this one right here. Once it's set, we have all of this done. Make sure your title is correct. We can go to the optional source files. Nothing needs to be changed here. The gamepad meta options. Here's what we're going to want to do. Make sure that it's on no gamepad emulation, Wii remotes only. This way the games actually work and you can use real Wii remotes to play these games. If the game supports the classic controller, you can choose to have the Wii U gamepad emulate the classic controller or you can just use the Wii modes as they are. In advance, we shouldn't need to change anything over here. And the last thing you're going to need to do is go to the build title and enter the title keys that it asks you for. Once you do that, just press the big build button. Unfortunately, I can't give you the title keys, but I'm sure if you search them up on Google, it'll be very easy to find them. So, I'm going to go and press the build button, and I will get back to you once it's done. Alrighty, so once it's done, you should get a pop up like this saying Defendant to Penguin Conversion Complete or for whatever game you're using. And if you go into your file explorer, wherever you chose to save it, you should have a folder that looks like this with a random code on it. And if you open it up, there should be a ton of files in there. Nothing to be worried about right there. Now, what you're going to want to do once this is all complete is get your Wii U's SD card and plug it into your computer. You must use the SD card, not any external hard drive, because that is what you require to install the games. Once you plug in the SD card, wait for your computer to recognize it, mine has right here, and you should have an install file on your SD card. If there is anything in your install file, you can delete it because you've probably already installed it like I'm going to do right now. Now. What I'm going to do is grab this folder and drag it into the install folder on my Wii U's SD card. This shouldn't take too long depending on how big your game is. The, the game I chose is not a large game, therefore it's not going to take a long time to copy over. Once it's copied over, you can plug your SD card into your Wii U and I will meet you on that side. Alrighty guys, so once you get back to your Wii U on the gamepad, you're going to want to open Whoop Installer GX2. This is what we're going to be using to install the Wii program to our home menu. Once we get there, just wait for the program to load up, and you should see the one folder of the same title you had before. Click on it and click Install. Then click Yes, and choose whether you want to install it on the Wii storage or on an external hard drive. I'm going to be using an external hard drive, so I'm going to press USB. Then it's going to begin to install the program, depending on how big your program is. It either will take a long time or not a long time. In my case, this one was very quick, and as you can see, it's already done. Once you're done, press OK, and you can exit out of the program, and I'll meet you back on my Wii U home menu. Alrighty, now that we're on the Wii U home menu, as you guys can see in our first available slot, we have Defendant to Penguin right here on our home menu as a Wii game. So when we open it up, You'll actually be able to see that we can choose how we want to play it, either on TV only or TV and gamepad. I'm going to be pressing TV only because I'm not going to be using my gamepad. 
And as you can see, the game launches up as if it were a regular virtual console game with our icon and banner. And as you can see, the game boots up normally and will play perfectly. We can use the Wii mote as just as if we were playing it on the Wii, and it works just like the Wii menu built in, but this time you can install your games without having to use a disc every single time. So, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, be sure to smack that like button and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. And I hope you enjoy playing your Wii games. Peace out.